Hello, everybody. We're looking at Proverbs chapter 12, verse 15 today, which says, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but a wise man listens to advice. A wise man listens to advice, but a fool is right in his own eyes. This would seem to be contrary to some of the things you hear today. Everybody today wants to talk about blocking out the haters. Don't listen to the people that tell you you can't do it. Don't listen to the people that are trying to give you wise advice. Follow your dreams. You know, press on. Bible says that that attitude taken in the wrong direction is foolishness. Now today I'm not talking about pressing on on something you know that you want to do or working hard when people maybe don't believe in you. We're not talking about that today. What we're talking about is taking advice from other people and recognizing that you do not have a monopoly on wisdom or on good sense. So the thing you're working on you might feel like you're the only one that could possibly know how it should be done, whether that's your relationship or your job or your creative projects, whatever it is. To say, I'm not going to listen to anybody else's advice because everybody before me has gotten it wrong is foolishness, according to Solomon. Sometimes we're just blind to our own situation. We think that we're doing everything right and it's not working and somebody on the outside can see what's going on and help. Even great men in the Bible were not afraid or embarrassed to take advice. For example, Moses. Moses and his father-in-law Jethro in Exodus chapter 18, I'll just summarize the story for you. Jethro came to Moses and he saw that Moses was taking everybody's requests. Everybody who had a counseling situation or a judgment or whatever was coming to Moses. And at the end of the day, Moses was worn out and Jethro said, why would you do all this? Why don't you get some guys to help you? Why don't you raise up some faithful men that can handle the smaller things and you just handle the most important ones? And Moses listened to that advice. It was great advice. And he was better for it. And that's what Solomon is teaching us to do. Now, why don't we want to listen to advice from other people? Let's examine this. I've got five reasons. Because what we'll do is we'll filter through the advice and come to our own decision, right? We listen to good advice, but we decided to do our own thing. Here's five reasons why. Number one, the desire of what you want to do is stronger than the good sense surrounding it. How about I love her too much. I'm not going to listen to your mom, your mom's advice, right? Mom's telling you she's a bad girl. I know girls like that. Watch out. I don't care. We're in love. And you blow past it because the desire is stronger than the good sense. Number two, pride gets in the way and you want to demonstrate your own capability. You're so proud to have this thing that you're working on. Maybe it's your first job, I don't know, and dad or a friend comes along, maybe an old neighbor, and they've got some advice. And it's good advice, but you don't take it not because it's bad advice, but because you want to show that you can handle this yourself. And you can see how that could lead to a bad place. Number three, sometimes it's just out of disdain. You, you can't possibly concede that anybody has a better understanding of this than you do. And the thoughts of anybody else, you're not interested because you're the king of the world or the queen of the world. Disdain. Number four, sometimes we reject advice out of spite. We know that we're doing the wrong thing. We know that we're hurting people around us and that's why we're doing it. You might want to examine yourself because sometimes people will constantly be tearing up everything in their lives and they say that they're a victim when in reality, you're trying to hurt somebody around you. Maybe you're just trying to show up your mom or your dad or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whoever it is. Watch out for that. And number five, the way of wisdom is difficult and our desires are usually easy. You're building a shed and you're going quickly and you're making it and then grandpa comes out and says, no, 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 don't do it that way. It'll fall apart. You got to do it the right way. That's going to take twice as long. Well, the way of wisdom is hard sometimes. The way of foolishness is easy, at least for now. You see this in 1 Kings 21. Ahab wanted the vineyard of Naboth. He wanted it. He says, hey, why don't you sell it to me, pal? And he says, no, I'm not going to sell it to you. And then Jezebel comes in and rather than giving him good advice, she says, just take what you want. Who cares what the law says? Who cares what wisdom says? Just take it. Doing it your own way leads to trouble. Naboth was killed and Ahab got the judgment of God brought upon his life. And he and Jezebel both would pay for that. You bring baggage in your life when you reject advice. So it makes no sense to reject it. And then hold up your mess and saying, well, this must be God's will. God wanted it this way. And we talk about how beautiful failure is when the Bible is trying to give you advice to tell you how to avoid that failure. Failure can be beautiful if you do it righteously and wisely. And you know what? Things just went bad. We couldn't help it. But it's, it's a foolish thing when you reject all the best advice because you had to do it your own way. A wise man listens to advice. You might be young, you might be immature, you might not be uh, competent in the field we're talking about, 
but you can be wise through other people that have taken their, their lumps, who have taken their, their steps and now they've figured it all out. Don't let somebody who's got, I, I don't know, they've got a strong voice and they, they get you all inspired. Don't listen to anybody else. You do it your way. And you go, yeah. No, no, no. Listen to godly advice from godly people who are doing what you want to do and are doing it better than you. There's always going to be people telling you to do it just the way you want it. Don't listen to those people. More than anything else, listen to godly people, listen to the spirit within you, and listen to his word. Listen to the Bible, listen to godly people who can point you in the right direction. God bless, guys. Have a good day.